Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to create an aperture card for you and I've cut a panel of smooth white cardstock using this double stitched rectangle die. So I've got a nice stitching around the edge of my panel and this Sizzix die that I've cut the aperture with like that. Now I'm going to do a bit of gel printing. I've got a whole video series on gel printing with Distress Oxides on my channel. So check out my channel and the playlists to find that gel printing playlist. And all I'm going to do to start off with is put down a layer of peacock feathers, roll it out with my brayer so it's nice and thin. And then take some circles. I've got a nearly finished roll of washi tape here and I'm just pressing it down into the plate, into the ink. And now I'm going to use this Nouveau Drop bottle and press that down, trying to overlap some of the washi tape ring circles. So I think that will do. Now I'm going to pop this on top and press it down and hopefully I'll get a nice print with some circles on it. So there we go, that is a really lovely, a really ethereal, bubbly background. I'm going to wipe off my gel plate because I want to add, I think, a little bit more something to that. I'm going to add some salvage patina, which is a lighter version of pick up feathers really I think. I haven't cleaned my brayer and then I'm going to choose a stencil to pop on top. So I've got this circle-ish pattern and I'll just get a clean bit of paper and pick up the pattern through the stencil like that. Take that, oops, <laughs> take the whole gel plate off. No, just take the stencil off the gel plate. There should be enough ink left on there to transfer. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up given I'm putting a lighter colour ink on top of a darker colour ink, but it hopefully gives me a bit of a subtle effect, but we shall see. So I like that. We've got the circles, we've got what look like petals with a dark outline. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to waste the ink on this stencil. I'm going to spritz it with water. And just get another bit of paper and press it down. Oh, that's a bit, no, that's all right. It's a bit mucky on the back, but the front side's okay. Press it down and hopefully I'll be able to pick up that ink in a watercolory pattern. So that's really pretty too. I've got some ink left on here. I can brayer that off. Give that a wipe and put it away. And this is why I love working with Distress Oxides on gel plates. It's so much easier to clean up than if you're using acrylics. So in maybe a three or four minute session with a gel plate, I've got four lovely bits of paper. I'm going to use this one today and these I'm going to cut down and put in my box of backgrounds and bits. So I only need a little bit to peek through and it really doesn't matter where I pull it from because it's just giving a little bit of colour and a little bit of texture in the background. So I'm going to cut a chunk from here and save the rest. I might use that in a minute or at least use some of it in a minute. So my card blank is going to be four by six inches. This will sit on here like that so I trim it down ever so slightly. I'm going to add some high tack glue not too much to the back of this. Pop it on here about there and before I press it down I'm just going to make sure that it's in the right place. Just wiggle it over slightly. Yep. So that's good to go there and I'm going to put foam tape on the back of this and pop it on top. So there's the foam tape. I've taken the release paper off. No, I haven't. There we go. And I'm going to put it on here. 
So now I've got that lovely blue colour peeking through with some nice texture and pattern. The next thing to do is create my focal point, but I'm going to do that in a little while because I've got to go and take my husband to the garage to pick up his car, which was being serviced. So I'll see you in a tick. OK, so I am back and I'm thinking a tag cut from vellum there, maybe a gold foiled heart on top with a butterfly cut from the same paper I used behind the aperture. So I'll cut those things and see what it looks like. All right, let's layer these up. So vellum tag, that looks okay. Just a little bit of something in the background, not covering up too much. A gold foil heart for a bit of bling. And then that butterfly. I think it might need a little bit more depth or darkness so got my finger daubers i'm not even going to re-ink this this is the peacock feathers one is it the peacock feathers one no that's tumble glass that's the peacock feathers one we'll see i might need to re-ink it no nope, i think it's got enough ink on it give that a little bit round the edges tips of the wings like that there we go it's got a bit more color on it now so that would sit on there like that but i think i might back it in white paper i think it needs some solidity to help it stand out so white cardstock i'll add some glue there spread it out with my spreader my butterfly in tamp it down and stick it on there press it down with some deli paper you can use grease proof paper for this baking paper or even keep the release paper off the back of sticky foam or what have you or double-sided stickies just some kind of paper that you can burnish your thing through that won't stick to the glue so i use my detail scissors to cut this out so now we've got a nice solid butterfly now, and that can sit on top of there like that. To stick down my vellum tag, I've added sticky to the back with my Xyron sticker maker. And I'm just gonna stick that there like that i apologize if my talking is a bit odd today the neighbors are having some work done on their house and there's lots of drilling going on so i, I start talking and then they start drilling so i have to stop talking so i'm trying to do this in between the drillings i think i've still got enough glue there to do my gold heart butterfly I'm just going to add glue to its body and stick that I think let's have a look let me get my tweezers and I'm going to let the wings lift up so it's only attached by its body to give the butterfly's body and the head a little bit of dimension I'm going to add gold Nouveau drops. I'm just going to tidy that up a bit because I've made a bit of a mess. Cocktail sticks are particularly good for that kind of thing. Let me see if I've got some there. Let's get a cocktail stick and just run it along the edge and it will pick up most of that gold Nouveau drops. You can even just sort of gently shape the drops with a cocktail stick as well. Most use it like a paintbrush to coax the drops where you want them. And I think I will add a few extra drops, gold drops. So the gold of the butterfly's body makes some sense. And now we just need a little sentiment. So I use this So Grateful die to cut my sentiment from a bit of this. 
I'm thinking I might back it with some gold. And I really like that. I think I can put that down there. I think it might get a little bit lost up there. It might be alright up there, but I rather like it down there, it kind of balances things out. So just add a little bit of glue on the back and pop it in the corner there. Make sure it's straight. And I think that will do. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and that maybe it's given you some ideas of something to do with your gel plate or some aperture dyes or butterfly dyes, that kind of thing. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments and I will see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.